it's all about the kids. That's a popular line I used to hear when I worked in the K-12 environment. I'd hear leaders say it whenever there was a new initiative that they wanted buy-in on. And it's the line that was used to get folks to agree. But was it always about the kids? Hey folks, Sharon here, integrative nutrition health coach, speaker, teacher, and author of The Wellness Purpose Connection. And I am back for another, another day of giving. And so yesterday, in yesterday's video, what I offered were three tips to parents um, for you to consider using to help influence what your children are eating when they go to school. And I received an interesting comment. First of all, thank you for your comments. But I received an interesting comment yesterday. The parent said she's never seen what the child eats at school and she wishes that the schools would just change their menus altogether. Well, today's giving is me encouraging you to become a part of that. Here's the thing. I really believe that when leaders make decisions at schools and throughout school systems that don't typically make sense to the general public, they really do believe that they're making the best decision for all involved. For the most part, I believe that. But sometimes when the decision trickles down, it doesn't always look as good on the ground as it did on the higher levels. And so if you don't like what that decision looks like, and now I'm talking about in relation to the food that your students, your children are being served, you can do something about it. Now, I'm not saying to you, you need to run to the superintendent or run to the principal because it, you know, let's be honest, depending on where you are in the country, it can be a little political, but you can start where you are. Number one, you can start with the three tips that I provided, right? You can offer to come in and volunteer and teach classes. You can be a volunteer with creating a garden at your school. You can join forces with other parents because I bet you, I bet you dollars to donuts because we're not going to eat those donuts, right? <laughs> but I bet you dollars to donuts that there are other parents in the school who are also concerned about what the students are eating and you can come together and create task force or, or volunteer groups around helping to transform what the students are eating. So that's my giving for today to empower you to say, look, if the change is going to happen, it's not necessarily going to happen from the top down. It's going to happen from the bottom up. And you, my friend, are the one that's on the bottom. And in this case, being on the bottom is a good thing. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a couple of links below the video to help get you started around, you know, um, shifting and creating change. Um, in, in your child's school around how they eat and what they're being served. And definitely reach out to me again with more comments or questions. And, you know, I can help point you in the right direction with that. Um, so that's it. That's my giving for today, empowering you to be the one to make change for your child and the other children at your child's school around what they're eating so that they can have a... Hmm, a great quality of life when they grow older because they're not burdened by diseases that are unnecessary. So that's it, folks. Thanks for listening. Go ahead, send me another comment, subscribe, share, like, and I'll be back tomorrow with tomorrow's giving. Enjoy the rest of your day.